Hey, welcome to British Lit 2 English 242. The purpose of this video is just to kind of walk you through what to expect and how to navigate um, our learning management system. When you first come to class, like virtually here in this space, um, you will arrive at the announcements page. I will probably change that landing page a few hours or maybe 24 hours after the very first day of class um, because you're not going to need the announcements page for very long um, and I like to direct you every week to the most relevant content for that week. Um, so when you see the announcements page it there will be um, little if there are any announcements there will be like little um, titles written down below the title of this forum and I will just post them. They also should be emailed to your student emails but um, I don't know if that always works. I'm not really sure to be honest. I don't post announcements very frequently. I'll start maybe with a couple of like getting started announcements and things like that but for the most part unless I have to tell you something um, I will not send an announcement. I also just try to engage in different ways. Most of the time if I need you to know something I will post it at the top of whatever week's page we're on. Um, after I change the landing page from the announcements to the course syllabus and getting started, um, then I'll probably do that again like a couple of hours into the class or, um, or into the semester or maybe just a full 24 hours. I'm not really sure. I usually just do it when I remember. So here you can find the syllabus and the schedule which will be um, either in this folder or separated out. I don't usually like to use these folders. Um, and then there's information on uh, me or resources that you need. Um, and there is a um, syllabus acknowledgement agreement. I like to use, or I like to suggest maybe thinking about this page as like an a la carte or salad bar type. If you need something, grab it. But I don't necessarily recommend reading through all of this information on day one. There's just so much other really important content to get through. Like for example, if you don't need to know about the privacy policies of the software that we're using, then you don't need to read this. Um, it's just there if you need it at any point in time. Um, of course there are things you should look at right away like the syllabus and the course schedule to familiarize yourself with the structure of the class and, and what's going to be expected. Um, once you move on from there, there's going to be three pages. I probably will never make any of these three pages landing pages and what I mean by that is when you click into the class you'll never be automatically directed to MLA format resources writing about literature or resources for success in English 242. Um, I will direct you to these pages in, like indirectly <laughs> elsewhere in the course. So for example, when we are going um, to write our first paper, I will direct you to the MLA format resources. Uh, when we're first beginning to write about literature and, and maybe throughout the course if we slip a little bit, I will direct you to the writing about literature resources. Um, but these are, they are also uh, for two other reasons. One, you, these are just kind of like basic things that need to, you need to know, I expect you to know um, in coming into the course. I think writing about literature is the one that I expect you to know the least, however I expect you to figure it out very very quickly. Um, I'm not certain that any of your classes before any literature course have asked you to write about literature in the same way that I will be asking you to write about, or if at all. Um, so there is just some content in there that you need to figure out and learn right away and, and pretty quickly, but um, I'm here to help you, so if you have questions about that, and of course I will also be facilitating giving this information when it becomes relevant elsewhere. Um, the For the most part, Every week the landing pages that you'll see are our weekly pages. Now you will not have access to week one until you go in and you complete the mandatory course enrollment activity. And probably 48 hours into our class, 
I will make this the landing page. Just as a reminder to everyone, complete the mandatory course enrollment activity. I'll probably make it the landing page for about a day or so, and then I'll switch over to week one. But again, you cannot access week one um, unless you have completed the mandatory course enrollment activities. All right, so every week I am going to follow the exact same structure. I am going to um, give you any information that I just think is like right away relevant for that week. Um, what do you need to know that like the most? Can I highlight something just to make it easier or just a reminder for you for the week? Um, I will also give you kind of like module information. So that's where I'm going to put any lecture videos that I would have lectured to you if this were a face-to-face -face class or we would have talked about if this were a face-to-face -face class. Then I'm going to put um, the textbook readings. Below that, I'm going to put all of the things that I want you to do that, that week. So sometimes every week there will be a discussion board. Um, sometimes there will be quizzes. Sometimes there will be other activities um, to help you practice writing about literature or researching for literature. Um, and then other times there will be uh, papers and assignments to submit, like major papers. So um, you can, of course, look at the course schedule to see what is coming up, when that stuff is going to be released. I um, think this is pretty much it. So if you have questions about navigating uh, 242 or using the LMS, let me know. I, th I think that I can probably answer them. So um, happy reading through all of this other introductory content.